Okay, hello again. So we're gonna go straight into doing the... I think it's the final fight? Mixed breeds. You're mixed breeds? Heralds, what is the meaning of this? Why are they still alive? What are theirs is worth sparring? You must realize there is nothing more than first they slaughtered our bloodkin. Holy being, they are mere filth. Very flexible, eh? We hacked away your kind with cold weapons and you do not as to not expose you to our technology. That way you will never become something we can't deal with. I guess I overestimated. Don't seem very sensitive at all. Can't even adjust to this much. It's like you can't adapt to the blades forged by Egger technology. Am I right? Ah, insulted you. Oh, Bishop. Can't you tell? <laughs> yes, I am confident I can kill you. And I could do done so right from the start. Oh. Why have you not accepted them? They are my sisters, and they are your sisters too. In rouse you, rouse Ishla, and of course Gladia too. Just because your brothers swarmed for the shallow seas, you are no longer recognized them as brothers. You have looked back even once. Our tribe cares. No, this is nonsense. Oh. You believe every single word in the good book you're holding? I remind you, Bishop, you but you too are spreading heresy in full view of the Iberians. It doesn't matter to me one bit what this thing tells me, but you are from the church the deep. Perhaps you should be taking notes. Kill them, kill them, Harold do it. The crimes forgave. Spout blasphemy against their suicide. Does what you wish, then I shall do. No matter if you do it at all, does it? No matter if I ask this of you. You said it yourself, you will kill them. So it doesn't matter to me. You kill the wandering singer first. Kill the one in the red dress. Gosh, if I tell you to kill a person behind you, a bishop who is dressed like a strand of kelp, will you do it? Yes. Oh! Because he is my kin. And so are you. He calls out to me, and so do you. What? Ah, humans. Egger are vile and hideous, aren't they? Admit it, Bishop. We're all foolish, Egger. We will like to apply what we think to low-life beasts. You don't understand it at all. You mix blood? Well, all you want to do is protect us. Why not refuse? Refuse? How do I refuse? Oh my goodness, he has no understanding. Oh, uh, that's it. He's only recently learned to talk and speak. And now it's like, ah, he's told them their kin and everything. and But he doesn't understand emotions or the aspects of them. Enough. Looks like you've in you're indeed a low life. That's about as deep as you can swim. But listen up, trash. I want to ask you to kill the weakling behind you. You are a prey. Who would beg prey to do something? You want to hurt her? You will listen to the suggestion and kill Scotty, my hunter. You don't need to answer anymore, do you? I have other ways, even with her dead. As long as there's a way, it doesn't matter to me. But you told me to refuse. Way too soon. Cops. Whatever, if you want your heart set on killing her, you must first go through me. Now, Gladia, where do you get to live, whether your flesh continue to function? This is for you to decide. Let us decide that by hunting each other. Each other? Each other, yes. We will prey on each other. We will prey on me, and I will prey on you. Oh. Eh. Straight into it. Ma, 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 ma. Let the hunt begin.
The moon is full, and the night has just begun. Kin. Okay. Oh, they're coming! I like. Ooh. I'm. I'm like. Oh, oh, oh. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Oh wow, there's a lot of them building up. Bada. Oh. Don't shoot that one yet. Please. And then we will put... No. What do we put here? No, 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 no. Wrong person, wrong person. What am I thinking? Yeah! And then... In case anything comes from the other direction. I'll have them there. Above. And let's switch that for Spectre. That one to wait a bit. Ooh. Oh no. Uh whoops. Um, I don't have anyone to. Wait, can you hit air targets? Oh, you can hit air targets. Hopefully, enough. Uh. Uh oh. Uh, uh, I should have brought someone to... Uh-oh! Uh... Huh. Uh... Oh no. Is not looking good. Uh... Oh, that did not go well. No, we should be good. Uh, I probably messed up and let something ease down that shouldn't have been eased down so quickly. Try this again. Uh. Uh. That was terrible when it comes to the boss battles. Uh, let's see. 
next thing would probably be to put down a healer. Then uh there. To make sure that they all stay all right. Her. Then inspect right there. This tile. Okay. Hopefully that'll be all right. Oh no, not again. So that guy explodes very rapidly. Maybe I should bring like a second sniper instead. Because uh, otherwise it's just gonna, everyone's just gonna get popped. I should just target that guy as soon as he pops out. Probably the best thing I can think of. Will we change? Uh, hmm. Whispering has a large range. Range. Auto takes ages before activates. Hmm. Once <laughs> activated, it's really good. Uh, well, I can't really use Gladi for this, I guess. Can I? Can she be used for this in any way? I'm trying to think. No, I'm probably better off getting a second sniper. Uh, fast. Ray throw. No, we use Meteor. I'll see if this makes any... Because it's that guy getting down there and he doesn't have high defense. Uh... Thank 
We're gonna hold it off, is that? Oh! Maybe if we do this. Uh, oh. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, it got down. Uh. Oh gosh, I'm afraid of when this thing gets down. It's going to explode. Uh. is going to be really tough to crack. Oh, oh. Maybe I do that. Oh. Oh, all the drones are gone. We've got no protection coming from the thing. Ah! Oh gosh. Come on. We have to defeat this thing. Oh! Oh, he's walking right through. Don't let him walk through. He's near death. Come on. This is so chaotic! Hey! We did it! It's messy, but we did it. Huh. <laughs> Ugh. Laddie has pierced through the Seaborn once again. Seaborn is about to die. Seaborn does not turn to face toward the bishop. Bystanders have no idea whether the Seaborn actually had eyes, but Scotty can feel the monster's gaze. At the very least, that is how she feels. She is looking at the bishop. The shapeless tides of the washing away, his robes weigh down on his body, almost crushing him. The Seaborn is not addressing him. Do you think you are more like me or him. Gladia, you are stronger. Gladia Mary looks at her prey with a cold stare. Emotions are kinship. Kinsmen will learn it. There is much that 
we are passing on and we will try to pass them on to you as well. Ishar Ma Liv It's good to be alive. Our blood kin will find you again and they will ask you. We do not know how to ask questions, but we will learn. Oh. Slowly Seaborn kneels down. His body will stand no longer. It merely curls like a rapidly withering flower. It's dead? There breathes a sigh of relief. No, she has yet to recover from learning the truth, but the praise death has truly made her felt. It was alive, and now it is not. Damned mixed breeds. Raises his voice. His coarse voice reverberates in his throat. Slittering through the debris and left behind by the intense battle, as though his vocal cords could not contain his mumbling. Yet Gladia does not so much as look at his way. Yes, step right up. It's your turn now. This piece of trash is all by himself, and the sea terrors outside probably aren't the same tribe, so they must be yours. I will tear you to shreds. Your blasphemy will be punished. I'll do it myself. I will make the blood right here. Right now. Leave is precious. Life is precious. But to keep the keep alive would be a waste of resources. One of you is heavily injured and cannot so much as move. I will scatter what's left of you across this land and be eaten by the lonely land creatures. I can easily kill you too. Enough of your show. Unlike the piece of trash Seaborn. You at least used to be human, and now you are pretending to still be one. That just makes me want to puke. This is where you die! Forget me, did you? Scotty rolls her eyes, the Gladia grins. The bishop starts for a second before he turns around. Scotty, can you move? Don't know, it's tough. To keep uh find feeling. Oh it's hard to think about it. I couldn't move my fingers. So my nails have swim away. I'm trying to rapidly you can your neural cells are rapidly metabolizing. Remember, you are a hunter. Can't do anything to you. Is thinking about that going to help? If you don't want to become a seaborn, this is will help wonders. Okay. I think I can still pick up my weapon. Mixed blood without a weapon. Another who's injured. And a third one that's infected. What can you hope to accomplish? Look at the expression of yours. Are you starting to think yourself noble now? Me? Wait, strange. I'm afraid you misunderstood. I might have felt sorry for the Seaborn. But if you think I feel the same about you, you have another thing coming. Once I kill you, it'll all be over. Do you really think that's a saxophone in her case? Little mermaid. <laughs> How much longer will you sleep? Open your eyes. The things that happened in the past can't possibly have trapped you. She's a mere test subject as well. Shark, you've always awake. You've been awake for a while, haven't you? The bishop turns around. There he finds Spectre stroking the glass of water tank. She looks at the bishop with a curious and gentle gaze. What? Even... Such high-density Erygium liquid? The bishop stumbles backwards a little, but then remembers the two abyssal hunters are starting, standing behind him, petrifying him. <laughs> Spectre's mouth, a few words. They seem to have some really ferocious words. It's great to see you're the same as ever, Shark. Ugh, 
I'm almost forgotten she's always used to be like this. Scotty kicks open the box. There's a blade inside. Yes, her greatsword. I'd been inside the box the whole time. Alongside a circular saw with a long handle. Yeah! Ah, my hands. You're rather known. I didn't spend all the years in Broad Islands to come unprepared for something like this. Here. Guy bends back a little. Rochely throws the saw at the glass tank. This bishop hurriedly dodges. The circular saw sweeps up a gale. Manages to tear open a wide hole in the long robes. Right before the merciless weapon lands in the glass tank. Shatters it to pieces. A pale white hand. Shatters the glass pane it's herself. Just as water inside spills from the tank, she grabs the saw without regards. The sharp shards of glass flying in the air. Caught between her hand and the handle of the saw, the glass shards immediately shatter into fine glittering dust that spills from the gaps between her fingers. Needless to say, Spectre's head hand is completely unharmed. The hunter has awakened. Spectre has awakened. Hey. Here I was thinking I could be a courteous lady. And I am being for just a little longer. Here I was thinking I could be keep the be being the courteous lady I am for a little longer. Spectre answers with an ill for Bodding grin. I have been spent such a long time as an adorable, well behaved nun. I wasn't sure I'd approach you two. Enough, come out already. It's been a long time. I'm sure if I'm more used to how you are now or back when you were deranged and high strung. Before the bishop can come to a sense, the predator in the water tank has already broken out of her fragile cage. She begins to hack away at the one responsible for the string of events with her son. Wow, she goes to town quick. Also, the light completely lost my face, so camera. Ah. Light. Where'd the light go? Hold on. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh, so tough. Shark, come back. He's a seaborn now. Foul stench in the air. Scotty realizes it's actually been the source of the strange phenomenon. Captain Spectre, let's get out of here. It's about to happen. Oh, is he about to amalgamate you? Mixed bloods. I will destroy! The bishop begins rapidly. His body grows and swings and appendages around and sweeps motions. Smashing. Smashing. Ha ha. Oh. You, are. you push your luck too far. Whoa! Ah. The bishop's skull cracks open between his eyes. His eyelids break off as large eyeballs. Huge ret hunters retreat and reflected its glass object that lies there. Countless tentacles quickly bulge out from what has been its slender, frail body and then swipe the in these insects. That it had once only ridiculed. Seawater begins to fill the cave. This is the bishop body continues to expand. Rings destroys all the equipment in the vicinity. Its body is no different than a seaborn, yet the anger it exudes is undoubtedly human. Wow. It grows all big of a sudden. What did he do to the stuff with all that meat inside his body? Like his head split in two. Remember, the right side is mine. <sighs> I used to probably make a bunch. Some people are always howling. 
Human speech like so. Act quick, or our prey will get away. Either that, or we'll die at the hands of another hunter. You. It's so nice. Yeah. Explodes. It's like, Wah! Look at him, sore headed. And he can't even form a full sentence. He's not human anymore. Preys like this are only valuable when hunters hunt them. Let's go. Go off. Giant monster once human chases after the three minuscule hunters. Oh wow. It's a nice image, but it's kind of darkened in the background. I'll dash the forward to the upwards. Meanwhile, the water begins to surge. Oh yeah, they gotta get above the surface. Foil, flying towards their feet. See where it brushes their fingertips. They've made it home. Back to the surface! What's going on? They can, something's falling. I can see it in the window. Is it the chapel? How's the chicken do? My box, the food, Grandma Petra. Oh. Everyone, please head outside with me at once. It's dangerous to stay inside. Yeah, what am I doing? Wasting my breath. All right, come. Hi, Inquisitor. Or, huh? Inquisitor? You left Grandma Petra up in one go. Stop standing around. I now understand what I'm saying. Do you have any idea how old this house is? It's going to collapse in a few weeks. Happened at the chapel. But they went there. These things. Oh, even. Ugh. Whatever happens next, it's got to be my problem. Take my hand. Drywall. Bring a few more people with you. Holding a cuzzer. Let's go. Come on. We gotta fight this thing. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Well, it looks like everyone made it. Chapel. Food. Food. Priest. Too worried about the wolf in sheep's clothing? It's like you don't even know the situation. Oh, very well. You'll stop where you are. Come back. Mula. Grandma Petra, did you open your eyes? I'm here, Grandma. Jeff. Rocks are falling from the roof. Inquisitor, did you block that for us? You. The other woman grips tightly onto the Inquisitor's sleeve. Grandma Petra is looking at you, Inquisitor. She's thanking you. Hold on tighter, then. You're bleeding. There's a bash I took just now. Kind of hurts. He helped me with the sea terror attack, too. We'll call ourselves even. Why are you even? I don't believe I'm alive. Your song is stuck, stuck in my head. The singer isn't here. Is that going to be a problem? Problem? Hmm. It's the problem is a kind of problem. You know what she's like? She'll have a problem. I'm sure the answer with the question would be too shabby. Okay, perhaps she was waiting. Come on, we're gonna fight. Almost there at the chapel. Isn't stopping. Oh! And it will reach upwards, crushing the falling rocks into dust. The gravel collides. Spectre saw the rubble. I wonder how long it's been since I saw it take a prey like you. This is going to become delightful. Spectre swings her saw in the horizontal stroke, striking the wall. A huge hole appears in the granite rock face. It's the momentum to flip herself upwards. Up, and at the same time saw the trace of the grayish path beneath the intersects of tentacle. Wow. Grabs will have to be a part of the stairs and pushes it towards the chapel. Cells are screaming like that. The motions. It used to be an eager. No, no more. It could hardly be called one before. Some of the tips of the severed tentacle release spores. Oh. Streams hit the blade. Come on. Four jets on the workbench. Looks at us. 
running with that end. Oh, big eye. Oh, got dark again. Gosh, my light is terrible in this room. Oh. It's going to fire an energy beam. Bizarre. Oh, the big station. Well, it slows down. Swordfish. Oh. We're almost done. Going by the size and weight. Should do the trick. Get ready. Monster body lets out a strange sound. The noise. Claps in the mingle. To a reverberating chap. Yet. It's a hunt. It has become. An abrupt end. How cruel this be. The monster is confident. Its power comes from the sea. Their assault is unstoppable. All they have to do is reach uh, out to their consciousness and the answer will reveal itself. Its tentacles have almost reached the nun's legs. It will pull her down and drag her into terror part. Yet it cannot reach her. It realizes its tentacles cannot extend any further. That difference of four centimeters between it and the prey feels wide as deep tentacles of sea. As her saw revolves in the air, the nun quickly twists herself around. Like seagrass and turbulent current, she tilts the weapon downwards, ready to counter. It mustn't give her the opportunity. It mustn't give her the chance at all. The bishop is starting to fret. That is, if it his blood temperature allows for that. It needs to evolve. It must evolve further. Its inner shell should still be able to expand further and break free from its flesh. It should be able to fill the singerman with blood before ejecting in all directions like spikes. The neural system should be able to release electric currents, tip of its tentacles to harden, be used as weapons. Its body should be able to reroute it to the bottom of the sea should be able to move yes it should move it should be able to slither swim among the rubble leap upwards pull their bodies into a coils and crush them evolve it must evolve evolve but suddenly it remembers the seaborn and it realizes that the seaborn was unconcerned about its life the tribe will continue their future is prolonged. Their descendants will evolve. Their descendants, its descendants, descendants, know itself. The bishop's ability to reason is frozen, dead in its already dissolved skull. Evolution is something that concerns the entire group for generations to come. It has nothing to do with itself individually. It will die. The only possible outcome is to die here in despair. To do no, the seaborn despair, it has to hope and shudder once because it has been eager. It starts to struggle the deeps of the desperate tentacles. Uh, uh, it will inner reaches. Well, I need to fix my light or something like that. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Everything's just not going the way I want. There we go. Bishop the sputter of grout, that downfall. But they won't have here. They're not fast enough. They won't reach the nature. Seaborn are not gone. They're different from organisms. Yeah, well, there's a lot of information about the Seaborn. The bishop screams in terror, but its lungs have been transformed to a kind of filtering ogre. All it can do is hopelessly let its cysts continue their beating. A tense steam of gas rushes from its mouth. It desperately curls into an all-too-long body. Gas streams, sharp shrieks. But the monster is unable to escape. It is prey. And the hunters have already found their prey. 
Now. This is payback for everything you've done to me. You could say I've gone easy on you. Don't let it get in your way. You've made a pretty big ruckus, Scotty. We'll let you off the hook for another hunter's bishop. But one must strike with family and friends in both the sea and the land, all the whom you murdered. Die, bastard. The Nicene. Like flowers blossoming in the sea, the hunter slammed downward straight with the stone cold weapons in their hands. The bishop makes an attempt to treat back to its cave. Grey animals tend to think their nests are safest of all locations. This response was etched into their bodies tens of thousands of years ago. As the enormous creature pulls away, the pap begins to collapse. As it's twisted and turns, the mountain crumbles away like cake, large chunks of rock falling down like plums. The bishop flees. It is fast. So fast it exceeded the limitations of living organisms. Its body possesses all the qualities of predators survivalists could only dream of. As long as it makes it back to the nest and seals off the path, the enemies will have no way to follow it. It will swallow them as it sleeps. All it needs to do is make it back to the nest. It is all too late. In their swift fall downwards, the hunters look just like shooting stars. A sight that those of deep seas rarely have the opportunity to witness. With this desire and plans clouding his head, the bishop has, of course, never looked upon night sky to enjoy that spectacle. But they are different. When the Abyssal Hunters had to fight for their lives and escape for the melancholy and sacrifice, they swam upwards, and when they finally reached the surface, they could suddenly gaze upon the star-filled night sky. The Hunters have all etched destinies of these short-lived stars into their hearts. Despite everything, the darkness can still be broken. Now die. Yeah! Three shooting stars illuminate the deep passageway. The bishop is horrified. He has no lungs and vocal tracts. This thundering sound is echoing as it screams for its current body. Woo! Hey. How's this gonna go? Oh my god, this! Oh. What are we going to get? When are we going to get it? Believer. Oh. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Uh... I need a healer. I hold up for a healer till the end of the fight. Please. Oh gosh. I'm so scared. Gosh, I don't have anything to block it. Ah! Okay. In case. At least I can activate his ability. Where are the bots for? Oh, there's things popping up everywhere. What do I do? Uh. Wait, did. Did Texas kill something over here? I 
I feel like something just got knocked and I didn't see it. Uh. Oh gosh. Some more. Okay, his abilities act. Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh no. There goes another. Is it gone? Terrified. I'm like, is it? Did it? Did it sink into the water, or is it gone? Gone. Up there, back there. Wait, there's one enemy left. Where's the one enemy? Are these guys? No. Well, they immediately caused her to get knocked out. Three. Suspicious and like, where, where's this last enemy that's mentioned? Is it the, is it the, 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 the tentacles? The tentacles count as like the last enemy or? Oh. Oh. The robot count as the last enemy. Ah. Uh... Among the debris and crumbled walls, monster's bloated corpse fills much of the Karsak car cave. Its bizarre body had until now emanated a strange sense of beauty. It begins to stiffen as it dreads its impending doom. It is leaking into the water everywhere. It's finished off. We need to go. Why do you blind Philistines get to live while I must fail when I have dedicated my entire life to this noble goal? You are more pets the vaguer, blind and stagnant, 
You are not of the nuisance of the science and the future. I am so close to the truth. Why must I die here while you... You get to escape the punishment you deserve. I've come so far. My will and flesh are on the verge of exceeding the limitations of man. Why? 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 Shut up. Agar will fall. Nothing will be left of you. Nothing. You fool, I'm Agar. As long as I'm alive, Agar is alive. You, but... Ironic. How ironic. You are different. You are destined to be different. And you know it. Set stone. Nothings. Die. Curse you, curse you. Until you've lands fall. To flee the sea. So he's just basically giving out. Gladia seems to be trying to control herself. The last bit of courtesy is merely a byproduct of contempt. She cannot contain. Before he could reach a hunter, the limbs had stiffened, twitched, and curled into a ball. The bishop is dead, and he will be forgotten completely. Gladia looks at Spectre and Scotty. Hey! He is gone at long last. This has finally come to an end. I ended it by my own hands. Yet this is nowhere nearly as satisfying as I imagined. Compared to all they have done to me, this is far from enough. But that's one down, two to go for us. Uh, I'm getting di a little dizzy. How did I come to this place? Almost feels like a dream. Shark, I can't stay awake for long after all. We finally have their tentacles caught. If we grab it now and pluck its roots out, it will definitely find a way to heal you. That isn't the problem. As it stands, they cannot control me. And I feel exceptionally well. Feeling of freedom. Who could have known I would get? to experience it now. This has me so elated. It feels as though I'm flying high with excitement. Though, Captain, I am afraid I heard everything you said. Was the bishop saying he was will become sea we will become seaborne too? Captain, will you become one of the more formidable kind? They are quite strong. That won't happen. You are way too different from them. I hope my actions didn't put to harm. Answer a few questions for me. Ask away. Is there a seaborne blood flowing into our veins? Yes. You are, not here. you are here to figure out the cause of the problem in Spectre's body. And you took that blow to figure out why Seaborn was looking for me. Yes, that's right. And you knew from the start the bishop wasn't the only seaborn here. Yes. Do you know what I did after the final battle? That was borderline suicide? I don't. Did we win? I don't know. I lost contact with Eger. Are we abandoned by Eger? Yes. The abyssal hunters are like bait. Yes, the Abyssal Hunters are like a glow up at the bottom of the sea. Yes, the Abyssal Hunters are strong, yet their strength is but a tiny fraction of Aegir's power. Yes, the only thing special about the Abyssal Hunters is that they are indeed related to the sea monsters somehow. Anger rages in Scotty's crimson pupils, but there is that little bit of hope. How much of it is real? How much of it is fake? Ah, I like this picture. It's, it's kind of like they've come true, but there's some doubt and there's some development. It's not the best, happiest moment, but you know, 
thoughts are being revealed. Or not. Okay, let's go. How snappy. No reason to dawdle now. I'm, I'm an abyssal hunter. Is it somehow different for you girls and your squad? All abyssal hunters are like that. This place is about to collapse besides. True lured... As though lured here by the bishop's lifeless body, the sea terrors are boring into the cave through the fissures. Huge numbers, no less. Three hunters are walking on the sea coast way. Ah. There's too many of them. Scotty, I need you to apply yourself here. You are the only one whose arms and legs aren't all scrapped up. What do you want me to do? My hands are numb already. When was the last time you had to stick your hands into the mouth and tear them into two? But three seconds ago. Gladia turns around and sticks her hand into her mouth of one of the monsters, piercing its entire body through her, its head. She swing she quickly swings her arms, and unable to withstand the force of the hunters is exerted on the its body. The monster is torn into two from inside before being flung away. Wow. Just now. No, as long as its body is still there, there will still be no end to the sea terrors. It's summoning them. It's an anchor. We'll need to destroy the body, then bury it. Won't quite be enough. I'll do it. When you have huge hope. YouTube. Oh! Hey, Calcet! Figure appears. Hey! Get moving, hunters. What are you doing here? We'll talk later. Monster, do it! Monster crashes into the ceiling of the chapel. It tears the sea terrors apart. It's sharp blades. Yeah! <laughs> Monster could do anything! Blasting away the downwards. Shakes the entire city's hill. The bishop in its secret has been destroyed forever, and no one will know any of it. Whoa. Oh! That was so good! Okay, we got a little bit of dialogue at the end here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish the moment here. If I get a chance, I'll try and record that part. And then on. Uh, I hope you've been, been enjoying these. And yeah. If I manage to get these out in time, and you know, I don't think I'm all in it. But yeah. These then. If I don't add this all together. Then you'll see it in a big thing. Bye bye.